There's good sound, and there's great sound. But what about 3D sound? The idea is that stereo recordings contain uh, a lot of the cues that the brain needs to hear in 3D. However, when you play them even through the best stereo system, you only get a very, very poor approximation of 3D. But you never get sound that comes close to your head, or if somebody walks to your head and whispers in your ear, and that doesn't happen at home. But it can. Shuari has developed a program that kind of decodes recordings, so a listener can hear where sounds are coming from, the way we do in real life. When you're walking down the street, you think of sound in one way, and it's coming from all around you, and you sort of take it for granted. And when you listen to recordings, uh, you, listen, you think of sound coming basically in a stereo field. Uh, but what, the, what he's done is manage, he's managed to sort of blend the two. To get a good idea of how all of this sounds, I brought along Alan Edelstein. He's a longtime member of the New Jersey Audio Society, which means he's a serious audiophile. He's not easily impressed. Forget about your uh, notions of the audiophile, you know, speakers, because... Uh, I'll try. Yeah, <laughs> try. To, I, I know it's very hard. I, yeah. Before we go any further, you're probably wondering why we're in this wacky, padded room with a disembodied head. This is an anechoic chamber. They're used in acoustics research because the sound played inside is really pure. The foam squares prevent sound waves from bouncing off the walls. Oh, that's... Yeah, it sounds like my head's about ready to go underwater. Or I'm, my head's just above the water, like here, which is fascinating. I love it, actually. In this case, they feel like they're crushing me. They're standing so close to me that they're, I feel them touching me physically. If you think you have to be a rocket scientist to figure out how all of this works, you're right. Edgar Schwery is actually a renowned astrophysicist. Developing groundbreaking new ways to listen to sound is like a hobby for him. Experiment. These are large tanks in which we simulate the vacuum of space. So inside of here... Schwery compares his audio filter to those old 3D stereoscopes. And there is a little wall here that stops the right eye from seeing the left image and the same thing in the left eye from seeing the right image. And I do a similar thing here. Without you seeing anything, there'll be a wall, uh, so to speak, that isolates the sound from the left speaker and the right speaker. So the listener will only hear information to his left ear from the left speaker and to the right ear from the right speaker, very much like in, in this little device. It's very impressive. Being an audiophile, audiophiles, of course, would try to find out what's wrong with it. But am I interested? Uh, extremely. 